Well, with a growing job industry, the need for skilled employees is on the rise. In this week's Golden Apple, our Haiti Clotter shares with us how Pequot Lakes High School students got the rare opportunity to hear from professionals in the skilled trade industry. See what's all out there for jobs and opportunities and stuff and what the requirements are. Nine businesses from the Mid-Minnesota Builders Association spoke to about 35 Pequot Lakes High School juniors and seniors to educate them on a career in skilled trades. So we're just giving them options and letting them know about what the industry has to offer. The students meeting with professionals face-to-face -face gives them an opportunity to learn how their life as a construction worker, architect, or electrician could turn out. During the orientation, students were made aware that there's an employee shortage and the industry is looking to hire people like them. According to the Minnesota Employment Economic Development, the construction industry in northwest Minnesota is expected to increase by 14 percent in 2024. After the, the, the Great Recession, um, a lot of people got out of the industry because there was, frankly, a lot of companies folded as well. So um, when those guys left, they, they found other jobs and, and didn't come back. The students were able to ask the business owners how they got their start in the industry, among other things. On average, an architect can earn more than $30 an hour. The potential to make a lot of money has piqued the interest for some. Like you're spending all this money on college, but realistically, you could just learn real quick and then you're making a lot. Like plumber, I was learning about that. They're saying up to like 90000 a year, and that just blew my mind. A four-year college or university may not be a right fit for some students, and that's okay. You don't have the debt that you get out of coming out of a four-year degree that you would that you would have to get on a four-year degree. Each student has a personalized learning plan so they know their interests and they can eventually make a career out of it. When you go out, find out what your passion is, it becomes your career and it kind of starts to define you. A job in the industry can lead to independence by you being able to do the work yourself. Say you want to do some plumbing in your house, then you don't have to call a plumber to come to your house. Good luck to you guys. By the time students are in the 11th grade, they've gone to at least two career fairs in the area to be on the right track. For this week's Golden Apple and Pequot Lakes, Haiti Clotter, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.